Over the last few years, New York has been witnessing a new trend in skyscraper architecture. Skinny skyscrapers are popping up all over the Manhattan skyline, like bean poles defying gravity, looking like pillars reaching up to the sky. Many of them, like the latest Steinway building, the skinniest skyscraper in the world, are the result of advanced construction technology, and as incredible as they look from the outside, they are as fascinating and luxurious inside too. This is why penthouses in skinny skyscrapers are worth a fortune, but what makes them worth so much? Check out the inside of New York's ultra-thin skyscrapers. 53W53 With interiors designed by architect Thierry Despont, this 1,050-foot, 77-floor skyscraper has a skinny ratio of 1 to 12, and just a one-bed flat on the 27th floor is priced at $5.8 million. The tower, which is next to the Museum of Modern Art, is the seventh tallest in the city and is packed with amenities like a wine cellar, a golf simulator, a formal dining room, a 65-foot pool, children's playroom, wine tasting room, a squash court, and a wellness center. The main architect of the building is the famous Jean Nouvel, who had planned for the building to be as tall as the Empire State Building, but was refused permission and made to reduce the height by 61 meters. 53W53 is a mixed-use building with several luxury condominiums, museum gallery space, and a private restaurant. The building has also dedicated 40,000 square feet to the MoMA, or Museum of Modern Art, where residents have special privileges and discounts, including film screenings. Typical interiors of penthouses in 53W53 feature floor-to-ceiling windows with three panes of low iron glass separated by two internal air spaces to reduce outside noise and maintain thermal comfort indoors. The hand-stained floors are crafted from solid three-quarter inch thick oak with traditional tongue and groove detailing. The apartments feature bespoke kitchens hand-stained floors crafted from solid oak, while luminous countertops feature white Carrera marble and polished nickel-plated fixtures crafted in Germany by Dornbracht with superior engineering that ensures faultless operation. One of the most sought-after penthouses in 53W53 is Penthouse 76 that was sold for $67 million. The 8,000-square-foot four-bedroomed apartment has its own elevator, eat-in kitchen, a master bedroom with walk-in closets, and a stunning Noir Saint Laurent marble bath. 432 Park Avenue 432 Park Avenue is a 1,396-foot mega-tall and slender skyscraper developed by the famous Harry Macklow for a whopping $1.25 billion. Some of its famous residents include Jennifer Lopez and Saudi shopping mall mogul Fawaz Alokair, who has purchased the building's topmost penthouse for a staggering 98.9 million pounds. The skyscraper is one of the tallest residential buildings in the Western Hemisphere and the brainchild of architect Raphael Vinoli. Inside the building, Vinoli has focused a lot on health and wellness, with a huge gym and double-height batching space, which soars 187 feet up in the sky. The building is home to several stunning units, like the one on the 92nd floor that was listed for $40 million. The three-bedroom apartment is a half-floor unit located 1,224 feet high above the city, with some stupendous views of the Manhattan skyline. The turnkey apartment, designed by Kelly Bahoon and vintage pieces from Vladimir Kagan, is stunning, featuring not just opulent residential fittings and decor, but wall covering and artworks that take your breath away. Alocare's apartment is the ultimate in luxury, living with six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, spread over 8,255 square feet. The apartment, called PH96, also features heated bathroom floors, oak floors in the living room, fireplace and floor-to-ceiling windows, commanding panoramic views of the city. The building itself hosts several amenities for its residents, like a 75-foot swimming pool and a private restaurant on the 12th floor, run by Michelin-starred chef Sean Hergat. The restaurant roils out onto a stunning alfresco 5,000-square-foot terrace that offers some amazing views of the city. Central Park Tower The construction of the Central Park Tower was the talk of the town, and now that it's complete, the 1,550-foot, 95-floor, megatall, super-skinny skyscraper is the tallest residential building in the world. With an expansive floor space of 1 million square feet, the first 31 floors are dedicated to commercial use while residents will enjoy the floors from the 32nd story upwards. The apartments available in Central Park Tower are stunning, where architects Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture has integrated a variety of luxurious amenities for residents, 
like a 15,000-square-foot terrace, indoor and outdoor pools, a private club, and a sky-high ballroom. There are 179 condominiums, starting from the 32nd floor, all featuring two to eight bedrooms and ranging from 1,435 to 17,500 square feet. Twenty units were sold at over $60 million each, but one particular penthouse in Central Park Tower was reportedly listed for a phenomenal $106 million. The four-bedroom penthouse comes with its own 2,000-square-foot terrace and an outdoor pool. There is also a triplex penthouse at the top of the building that is spread over 17,000 feet, and it has its own gym, ballroom, library, and observatory. The interiors of Central Park Tower are designed by Rotet Studio and feature luxurious fittings, wall finishes, white oak floor, miele and sub-zero appliances, and custom cabinetry. Central Park Tower is also called Nordstrom Tower since floors 1 to 7 have been taken over by the luxury department store Nordstrom. 220 Central Park South Looking at 220 Central Park from the end of Billionaire's Row, the super-tall skyscraper looks like a skinny obelisk towering into the sky. The 70-story, 950-foot tower on 58th Street is the 17th tallest building in New York City, designed by Robert A. M. Stern Architects, with interiors by Thierry Despont. What sets it apart from others is its limestone facade that blends seamlessly with the landscape of skinny towers projecting from Billionaire's Row. The interior of 220 Central Park South consists mostly of 118 apartments, among which most are duplex apartments while some are penthouses that are residences of utmost luxury. We looked at one particular corner unit on the 40th floor, and the interiors are stunning. It boasts of unobstructed northern, eastern, and southern views of Central Park, Midtown, and beyond. Robert Stern's signature design is clearly visible, with classic pre-war details, herringbone floors, custom moldings, and millwork. There is also a long hallway leading into a 36-foot-long living cum dining room with floor-to-ceiling windows and glass panels, providing fantastic views of Central Park. The kitchen is stunning wood paneling, glass and chrome cabinetry, a white marble center island, and marble countertops. The building also has its own porte cochere, a wine cellar, private dining rooms, gym, wine vault, and swimming pool. As a billionaire looking for expensive apartments, 220 Central Park South is the best place to start as the tower contains some of the city's most expensive apartments. Two have already been sold for a whopping $100 million, including one that set a record of $238 million, which was purchased by manager Kenneth C. Griffin in 2019. The apartment has been named the Billionaire Bunker and is a sprawling 24,000-square-foot penthouse, taking up four floors from the 50th to the 53rd floor of the tower. The apartment oozes opulence and is a virtual palace in the sky. 157. Tower 157 isn't just a regular skinny skyscraper. Called the Billionaire Building, it's one of the most beautiful towers in New York, easily recognizable by its bluish facade, a color created by the use of light and dark glass that also creates vertical stripes and rippled canopies. The 1,004-foot, 75-floor building was designed by French architect Christian de Portzamparc, with interiors designed by New York designer Thomas Jules Hansen. The super-skinny skyscraper was crowned the most expensive building in New York City in 2015, with the average asking price per square foot in that year was $6,010, while last year's most expensive, 15 Central Park West, came in at only $5,726. If you look inside the 157, you're going to be dazzled by the opulent interiors and sophisticated finishes, where residents have access to a 20,000-square-foot amenities center, a gym, a fitness center, a pool, library, and 24-seat cinema hall. Let's not forget the additional access to the facilities of the Park Hyatt Hotel, which takes up the first 39 floors of the building. The 157 made headline news when one of its penthouses sold for over $100 million, making it the city's most expensive apartment. The six-bedroom penthouse, owned by tech titan Michael Dell, is located on the 89th and 90th floors and spreads over 11,000 square feet. It features a steam room, a library, and an indoor movie theater. Given the fact that the real estate industry is booming, with billionaires wanting even more expensive residential spaces, $100 million won't be the top of the list because a tower on 520 Park Avenue went on the market for $130 million and prices will climb. Steinway Towers Coming up in Midtown Manhattan is 111 West 57th Street, or Steinway Tower, which is clearly going to be a New York City landmark 
as the world's skinniest skyscraper. The 1,428-foot, 84-story super slender tower has been constructed at a cost of $2 billion, and word has it that nothing has been spared to make its interiors one of the most stunning in the city. Situated along Billionaire's Row on the north side of 57th Street, near 6th Avenue, the Steinway Tower soars over the smaller Steinway Hall, a 16-story former Steinway & Sons store at the building's base. Designed by shop architects, it features 60 luxury condominiums and is known for its remarkable glass facade with terracotta piers and a pinnacle with setbacks on its southern side. When completed, it will be the world's skinniest skyscraper. The tower is being designed with special features, where floors are constructed with rigid horizontal structures to improve the strength of the building due to its unbelievably thin dimensions. There is room just for two elevators that open into each apartment, which are quite expensive, starting from $14 million from the lower levels. The price increases as you go higher, where a two-story duplex penthouse can cost over $50 million. The average cost per square foot in the building is $5,740, which is why it belongs on Billionaire's Row. A finished condo revealed to the real estate industry displayed a beautiful 4,500-square-foot, three-bedroom apartment on the 43rd floor that is listed for $29.5 million. It features a large living area that exhibits the luxury of the building, with floor-to-ceiling windows offering insane views of the city. The upper floors are the best place to be where residents find themselves living in the clouds, with every condo featuring gigantic lounge rooms almost 50 feet long, with dining spaces and open kitchens for 10 guests. Bedrooms feature ensuite bathrooms, walk-in closets, and a spectacular bathroom with stylish fittings that make you feel you're in a museum of luxury. Penthouses 74 and 72 in Steinway Towers are listed for prices in excess of $50 million and are double-level apartments that cover 7,130 square feet of living space, connected with private elevators and a grand sculptured staircase. The penthouses feature Macauba stone flooring, four bedrooms and five bathrooms, with master bedrooms taking up an entire wing. Is there anything more you could ask for in such luxurious pencil towers? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to The Drop.